Today we're going to learn about the relative size of objects on a map. Are you ready? Here we go! Have you ever flown in an airplane and looked at the ground below? What did you see? What if you drew a picture of it? What would it look like? Your picture would be a map. You'll get to draw your own maps today. You will draw a map of your bedroom, your house, and your neighborhood. You will also compare the size of objects on your maps. For this activity, you will need some blank paper and some writing utensils like pens, pencils, and crayons. First, you'll draw a map of your bedroom. Remember, the map of your bedroom is like you're looking down from the ceiling. First, draw the outline of your bedroom walls. Next, draw the objects in your room. Do you have a toy box or dresser? is your bed compared to your dresser. Now you can draw a map of your house. If you have more than one floor of your house, you can just do one floor. Or you can do each floor of your house on a separate piece of paper. First draw the outside walls of your house. Then, draw the walls of the rooms in your house. Then, add the details to the rooms, like dressers, beds, sinks, stoves, kitchen table, or TV. And, color the map of your house. size is your bedroom compared to the rest of your house. Now you can draw a map of your neighborhood. Go stand on your front porch and look around. What do you see? Are there houses next to your house? What about across the street and behind your house? Where are the streets? What shape will you use for your house on the map? What about the other houses and the streets? Draw a map of your neighborhood, starting with your house. Then, color the map of your neighborhood. is your house compared to your neighborhood. For help in drawing your neighborhood, you may want to visit maps.google.com. In the space next to the word maps, type your address, including the city and state. You may need to have your parents help you with this. When you first enter your address, the map may look like this with just the streets marked. If you click up here where it says satellite, then it shows actual pictures of your neighborhood. The red dot shows you where your address is and you can zoom in by clicking the plus sign on the left of the map. Click and hold the mouse button down on the map and you can drag it around to see your neighborhood. Wow, you did it! You made three maps today. 
a map of your bedroom, your house, and your neighborhood. Keep your maps in a safe place and bring them back when school resumes. I am excited to see your maps.